Okay, a couple things I'm going to show you right now um, are actually going to make this uh, system a little bit easier to use and more efficient. So the first thing we have to do, um, currently it should be set up with the firmware loaded on, but if for any reason this doesn't work, what you can do is, once you've connected the board, so it's the Ultimate 2.0, and you connect it through the serial ports. Uh-oh, there's a bunch here. Let's see, I think it's maybe this one. Alright, you can go here and set reset default program for MegaPi. And so if the stuff I'm showing you doesn't work, this is one way that you could check to make sure it's working. What we're not going to do is what we did before where we went over here to do upload to Arduino. So I can set create a MegaPi program and maybe set the motor to some speed. Okay. And then by clicking this button, it's going to run that probe, okay? And um, you, right now it's connected through the USB port, and so it's not very convenient to do this because it's going to be moving while connected to the USB port. But later I'll show you how to connect to Bluetooth where you can do this from the computer to the... Um, to the... Um, to the board using Bluetooth and then it doesn't have to be connected. Okay, so what I'm going to show you though is how we can use kind of like the serial monitor. So one thing we can do, and the, the way I'm going to show it to you first isn't going to work, but we have tools for sensing. And so I'm going to show you one kind of sensor that we have, which is the light sensor. Okay, and I have the light sensor connected to port 6. Okay, and let's say... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to, here's what we'll do. So we're going to create a variable, and we'll call it maybe brightness, okay? All right, and so what we'll do is we'll say set brightness to the value in light sensor in port 6, okay? And then maybe I want to print it on the screen here, okay? And it looks like, actually, look, it looks like maybe it's reading it right now. If I move it, is it going to update? No. All right, let's see. So, but you see how we have a little thing that popped up right here showing the value for brightness. Okay, now I can say, um, yeah, let's just go with that. So I click this. Oops. Back. Click maybe the flag. All right, that's not going to work right now. So anyway, one thing I can do, though, is this. Control. I can click, uh, let's see, operators, no, events. So when the flag is clicked, set brightness to light sensor port 6. So click the flag, and you'll see that number updated. And now, I'll click it again, and it updated again. And now I can even do this. So under control, I could do this forever, in which I continuously update the brightness. And maybe I update it every like 0.1 seconds. So I'll put 0.1 here. Oops, not 1.1, I just want 0.1. Okay, now put that right here. And now forever, it's going to be updating the brightness, okay? And here I'll put it the screen. It's maybe a little bit brighter. I'll shine the flashlight from my phone on it. You see it get really bright, okay? And um, so this is how we can use kind of like analog sensors here with the um, this MegaPi board, okay? And if you want it to stop, then we can click the stop button here. And so it stopped running that program. You'll notice that I didn't have to wait 20 minutes for it to write the program to the board. It just went ahead and did it. Okay. Now I can also do this, I believe. It's not going to let me. Let's see, is it going? It's not updating. So sometimes this part works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm not totally clear on how to make this part work. 
there it goes okay so I just kind of double clicked it and it started working um, this part's kind of tricky though I don't know how to make it work every time anyway something we'll figure out but um, and so that's the basics of that and there's a couple of things I want to show you the first thing is that you can actually use a servo motor with this kit and I'm going to show you how to do that so um, there's a piece in the kit that looks like this and it has options to attach actually two servo motors to it and this is one way this is really the best way to connect a servo motor because this is going to give you the most power out of that servo motor so this is um, this particular piece you can use for a servo motor when it's plugged in what you can then do is under robots you can say set servo motor port whatever slot whatever and then you can tell what angle to go to okay um, and so that's why this is useful and I imagine it might be useful in your project if you want to use a servo okay a couple of other things that I want to mention though is that this board is an Arduino okay and so the MegaPi board has Arduino pins in it and if you look there's a row of pins right here these yellow ones and these ones we lose access to when we put those that little thing with the ports on it so you're gonna lose this one you will lose these boards these ports here if you're using the Bluetooth but you might be able to retain some of these ones if you don't need four motors so if you don't use all of these then here you have some Arduino pins so benefits here might be if you want to send out light from an LED so if you're using the light sensor maybe to measure reflectivity or something like that you can use one of these to power an LED maybe or if you want to use an analog input such as like a photoresistor or um, maybe some other kind of sensor a force sensor maybe a flex sensor whatever then you could wire it up to these pins and the way you would control it is like this so if you go to boards uh, or extensions rather you can click Arduino okay and now we can use an Arduino some Arduino stuff here you can read an analog pin you can read a digital pin and so we can use these values here or we can use those Arduino capabilities by um, by adding that extension in and I and we should be able to include them in the same program okay and then you can reference the pins basically the way they're printed on the board okay and so this is going to allow you to really expand your capabilities you'll be able to combine your Arduino kit with your make block kit and um, yeah hopefully it'll allow you to kind of do some stuff that we weren't able to do before